Pasteurization is the partial sterilization of a product to prolong its shelf life, basically meaning that you kill all the life in it so that it can last longer. So the representation of life that we feel as though is pushed in mainstream media is based around the pasteurization of what life is. So you kill in essence what life is about place it with a version of life that is based around fear, despair and gossip to distract everybody from realising their true potential. So the revolution will not be pasteurised means that as opposed to projecting this image of pasteurised life which is not conducive to our future generations and children, we will project and put our image that is representative of what life really is which is to use your freedom to free others question one how long have you been trading coconuts Coconuts? Yeah. i um, been trading coconuts for about almost five years. I kind of became interested in using it as a base product because of the, the benefits of it and also because of the fact that it's naturally sterile. So I know as far as transparency, which is the most important thing in business, I know that it's not coming into contact with anything. So I know when I get it and I use it as an ingredient, there's no tampering with it. I think everybody adapts their own kind of style. And I think um, that's what I feel as though life is about, is finding, finding your own way of applying yourself to anything. Day one, it's like anything in life, you get, um, there's this feeling of like the unknown, like a kind of butterflies in your stomach. But that confidence kind of builds, as soon as one person comes and buys your products, you know that it's working. And then all of a sudden those fears of, I suppose, failure kind of went out the window. And it all became about just enjoying each different person that came to the store and trying to give them the best possible experience. I don't think there's ever been a day when there's been like zero customers, but there's been days where it's been super, super quiet. You know, especially like I've been standing out on a stool selling coconuts in the snow before. And the perspective I look at it is, again, is to try and move those those feelings of expectations out the window it's not about that because at the end of the day um receiving income doesn't solidify or doesn't make what you're doing adequate the fact that you're you're persevering and you're and you're and you're you're, you're going out there with a good intention that's what makes it worth it as well so it, i've never had no customers i never had the feeling of having no customers i've, but I've had the feeling of being there or maybe only serving one or two for a whole day and the thing that kept me motivated is that was again the response from those individuals that did come and how thankful they were because if people weren't looking for something like this you know i would be like i would find something else to do but people are searching in a, in a pool of or a marketplace where there's things that are you know not very good for your health and making f people f not feel good after the year people are searching for things that actually make them feel good so i think as long as that as long as people are searching for good food, I'll be there to provide them with a good service and also um, good quality electric foods. I never had like uh, necessarily like a vegan or a gluten free or a refined sugar free agenda. I never went out there with those buzzwords. I just wanted to create something that was healthy and good for people. And it just so happened as a byproduct of me wanting to make something that's healthy, it does cater to all those people. Like anything in life, if you're passionate about doing something and you do it c continuously every day, you learn to master that particular thing. And then as a byproduct of that, whatever you're doing becomes popular because mm -hmm. people see uh, in you the fact that you've not given up. O-S-U-S 
it stands for overstand us and it's quite loosely based around the philosophy of the samurai which is sticking to a particular code uh, and maintaining that code and that code is about an overstanding of who you are and what your potential is but that only comes through discipline so it's through the discipline and attention to details what you start to do is you realize that everything you've been told about who you are is an understanding of who you are so if you look at mainstream uh, news outlets the key topic is things that influence fear is like fear of the unknown so we're told to do things that are safe and comfortable so what actually what overstand us means is that with within all of us is the potential to be and do more if we go past this very limited narrative um, of what our potential is my advice for anybody who's like pursuing their dreams or anything they want to do in life is is to not look for acceptance from other people you have to believe in it yourself at the end of the day and if you're constantly looking for the acceptance of other people you're always going to have a feeling of disbelief until they co-sign you and in the beginning people people won't co-sign you until you prove it like people want you nowadays to prove yourself so you've got to kind of maintain tunnel vision and make sure that you direct your focus and energy on what baby steps you can take now to get you close to where you want to get to because all good and well living in the future and getting caught up in yeah i'm going to do this and yeah i'm going to do that but what access what facilities do you have access to right now what 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 can you do right now and i think the key with anybody that i've sat with that's been successful is maintaining your focus on details that's what separates you from everybody else is how much you focus on the details because the details the details are reflective of your passion mm -hmm. if you're passionate about something you will focus on um, the details and everything that you do so i can see you started from places like brook lane and broadway market in camden and some of them you do do on the weekend and you you've recently had a spot in Westfield Stratford which is quite a big deal for a young franchise owner I can see that this takes up a lot of your time so effectively you're working seven days a week what do you have any days off it depends what you view a day off as my free time is still based around furthering I suppose it's the whole movement because there's two umbrellas of the business there's the 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 pancakes and the food business and that funds my creativity which is making film putting together books working with amazing artists um, amazing fighters and for me that's an exciting a very exciting life I've, I would never would have thought I would be in this position like if I looked at myself five years ago you know I was studying law I was trying to be a lawyer you know and I think the interesting thing about what I'm doing is Again, an understanding of who people might think we are is standing on the street corner selling drugs. And it's exactly the same model that I use for the pancake business. We stand on street corners, um, we set up shop, and we're selling uh, a substance or uh, a, a, a compound, a, a mixture of ingredients to the public that they enjoy. The only thing is the byproduct of them enjoying the product is no uh, no, no weakness, you know? It's just it's straight power. It's things that are good for them. They don't have to worry about their hangover after. The future is now. Like, that's the way I look at it. I don't, I don't look to the future. There are certain aspirations and goals that I might have. But again, I, I try and do this. I tr try and see what I can do within my space and be creative within my space because um, nothing necessarily lasts forever. You've got to stay proactive in the moment. You know, I could say, oh, yeah, I want to be in this place. And then anything could happen between now and then. All I can deal with is the time that I have right now. I just want to keep on growing and keep on, stay true to um, putting out the same message at the same frequency as all of the negative marketing outlets. So if there's a target at young people and is harmful to their development into adults because ultimately 
the revolution is in the children. Those are the, that, that's what I, you know, I aim everything that I do in this. So, so some young person growing up can see me and be like, okay, if he can do it, then I can as well. So that's my, that's like, that's my motivational kind of force. That's what inspires me daily. Crash bang, what up?